one. We did it. We filled up our eight box off season football. Make sure you're thinking, Joe, wait, wasn't it seven? It was until the sharp eyes of Brian Callier was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't there eight box in the picture? And there are eight boxes in the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boxes in the picture. We we have all of our mixers. When, when Nick Jaspi sets up a mixer, he puts them in a tub. There's eight boxes there. What we were missing was 2015 playbook football. We have 2014 playbook football. We forgot to list the 2015 playbook football. I'm assuming the price would have has been accounted for eight boxes. I don't know. If it wasn't, you got a little bit of a discount. There you go. So big thanks to all of these folks for filling up this break, this mixer right here. Thank you. Appreciate it. And there's all teams are in as well. So let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list three and a three, six times. Six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and say Randomout Org has been running slow all night. It's kind of weird. Six times right here. We got David Kist all the way down to Andrew K. Now, trades are allowed, but remember to keep a, uh, keep a good eye on what uh, years are in here before you trade. All right, six times, three and a three for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time, we've got the Los Angeles Chargers on the pole. Obviously, San Diego Chargers stuff will go to them. And down to the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. All right. There we go. David Kist, Chargers. Joseph with the Titans, last spot mojo. Michael Gallucci, Jaguars. DeGroosh, you got the Cardinals. Andrew K with the Niners. Derek with the Seahawks. Alex Carmichael with the Vikings. Calvin, you got my Raiders. Nice. Brian with the Browns. Tice with the Giants. Rick with the Lions. Rich with the Cowboys. Brian, you got the Packers. Tim Haynes with the Panthers. Coop, you got the Bengals. Brian with the Texans. Kurt, you got the Saints. Brad, you have the Broncos. Alex Carmichael with the Bills. JG, you got the Rams. Nick, you have the Patriots. Michael Gallucci, Buccaneers. Brian with the Falcons. Dylan with the Chiefs. Jeremy Heller with the Redskins. Tim Haynes with the Steelers. Dylan with the Bears. Andrew Kay with the Eagles. Ryan Redman, Colts. Derek Dolphins. David Kist, Ravens. And last but not least, Andrew Kay with the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's alphabetize these by team. Now feel free to trade if you would like. Remember, we've got a box of 2018 Contenders Draft Picks. We've got a box of 17 Contenders Optic. Box of 2015, two boxes, three boxes of 2015, Platinum, Certified, and Playbook. We have 2014 Playbook, 2014 Certified, and 2013 Absolute Football, which is right in front of me right here. There you go. Any trades, any trades, any trades? Uh, Alex Carmichael has the bills up for trade if anybody's interested in the bills. I don't think anyone's lagging behind, but just as a PSA, public service announcement, don't miss a trade, don't miss a hit, don't be a lagger. Sometimes YouTube rewinds you back without warning, so make sure the dot next to your live button is red. So you are current. This break brought to you by Progressive Insurance. With the Progressive Name Your Price tool, you can name your price on Progressive.com. And by Geico. <laughs> it's not, but I wish. Raiders for Stillers. Calvin is asking, maybe. If Tim Haynes is in the room. We'll give it a few more seconds and then we'll... We'll start the break. And we've got about six minutes left. Tim says no thanks. Uh, we've got about six minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. In that promo, all spots sold promo, jazbeeshobbyland.com, uh, only Matt Appleby taking advantage of it with, with his order. Running out of time to, to squeeze in because it doesn't have to break tonight. You just have to buy a spot just before that time. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. 
All right, let's close up that trade window. Let's print this guy out. Uh, well, should we go, let's go back in time. Let's go back in time to 2014, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to do these in, in order of year. So there's the final list. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, Joseph saying, ah, I guess all well, the 2015 sets, the Titans are a pretty good team to get randomized. I agree. All right, there's my knife right here. Let's start. Let's go back in time and start with 2013 Panini Absolute Football. Ah, the days when the days when Geno Smith were the apple of the New York Jets' eyes. He was the future, remember? Way of the future. That's what he was, the way of the future. The way of the future. He was the way of the future. You know? The way of the future. Love the McDonald's apple pie boxes here. <laughs> yes, this guy we can call a bust. Yes, we were having a bust conversation. I was, I was like being like, hey, you know, it's not fair after a year. It's not fair after injury or whatever. But yes, I think Geno Smith we can we can safely call a bust. <laughs> He's out of the league. You know, there weren't any. I guess super serious playing related injuries that like held him back or anything like that so all right just didn't work out all right hog heaven uh, Niall Davis and a redemption any guesses on the redemption who else do we have here D Milner for the Jets man some blast from the past and we've got a couple base cards right here. Set these aside. The redemption is Tools of the Trade rookies, prime signatures, Mike Gillisley. Was he a was he a Buffalo Bill in 2013? It's been so long. In two th no, Dolphins. Really? Yeah, Mike Gillsley was drafted by the Dolphins in 2013 in the fifth round. He played with them for two years, 13 and 14. Crazy. I don't remember him on the Dolphins. I remember as a Buffalo Bill, I guess. But that was in 2015-16. He's been around a little bit longer than I thought. How many years has he been, been in the league? From 2013 to the present? That's one, two, three, four, five. Get your pension, Mike Gillisley. Five more years. Yeah. I'm rooting for this guy to get his pension. Good for him. He's, he's grinding out of a career. I like that. Well, This is obviously expired, Dolphins. That'll be um, Derek. But usually Panini's pretty good about... Um, pretty good about you can sometimes some people said you can scratch these off and you can still redeem them they'll still go through or you can ask panini and they'll hook you up with either that or or some equivalent but Panini's pretty good about honoring expired redemptions hey wait is this guy back in action I remember kaepernick this could be huge for the browns by the way philip thomas out of 4.99 there's their, oh, Latavius Murray, rookie autograph. Ah, those were the days. Raiders. Calvin with my Raiders. So Gordon Hay Josh, Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Josh Gordon. <laughs> got basketball on the brain. So Josh Gordon is good to go, right? Because he was back last year. He played some games last year, getting him back him himself back into football shape. What's is there a contract issue that that's there? I don't think so, right? Still signed, still signed with the Browns. And still good to go. It's Corey Fuller for the Lions out of four ninety nine. I mean, twenty three out of ninety nine. 
Wow, Pierre Garçon, RG3, and Alfred Morris. Whew. Good to go and on the Browns. Under contract and everything, right? Wow. If if Josh Gordon gets back to Josh to Josh Gordon levels, just I don't have to, I don't have time right now. It's a little too late in the evening for this, but to go off track, but by time. I would pull up right now. I, I would pull up Josh Gordon's stats. Someone look up Josh Gordon's stats. This guy too. Although this guy, I think Justin Blackman never worked as hard as Josh Gordon to get reinstated. I think that's the difference between their situation. I think Josh Gordon has always been some sort of dude who was like, all right, I'll try to work my way back. Justin Blackman, who was almost as talented, pretty talented as well, just never really got there. Special teams expert, Corel Patterson, 44 out of 99, although the Raiders didn't really quite get the most out of him, I think, last year. Where is he now? He went somewhere. All right, so that's a blast from the past 2013. That's rookie Corel Patterson as well. I think he's carving out a decent career for himself. All right, that was 2013. Let's go into the world of 2014. 2014, we'll start with Certified. Remember this guy. Correct. Well, base cards don't ship. So, but I mean, like this is considered an insert. So that will ship. Stuff like that. This is considered a base card. It will not ship. Oh. oh, I see. Thanks, Benini. So there's 2014 certified football. Yeah, no, no, no longer Raiders. Patriots, I think? All right. Gold Rush thinking Patriots ended up with Porter L. Patterson. I think that sounds right. I know we, I feel like he went east. Didn't Michael Crabtree go east as well? I think he's in Baltimore. Which I actually think is a good pickup. So Gordon's two thousand. So so Gold Rush helping me out here. Josh Gordon's two thousand seventeen stats: eighteen receptions, three hundred thirty-five yards, one TD. Now, what were they like in two thousand fourteen or something like that? What was that year that he just destroyed? If he can get back to that level, he only has years on those tires, not mileage. All right, so we're in two thousand fourteen now. There's new generation Logan Thomas. 91 out of 599, not anymore. That goes to DeGruch and the Cardinals. They got the Chosen now. Troy Nicholas. Sky's a limit. Jimmy Garoppolo. It, it could be, actually. Out of 249 for the Patriot. Patriots edition of Jimmy Garoppolo. Sky could be the limit there. That'll go to Nick Sanderson. These are just base cards. And Terrence West, freshman fabric and autograph. Some ink. 155 out of 249 for the Cleveland Browns. Brian with that one. There you go. 2013, 1,600 for Josh Gordon. 1,646 yards, 9 touchdowns, 89 receptions. Come on. On a bad Browns team, I think with like Jason Campbell throwing to him. Tom Brady out of 249, another one for the Patriots. Take the over on Brown's win totals. That's what I'm doing. Sky's the limit for Brandon Cooks to 99. Timmy Jernigan out of th uh, 999. 418 out of 999. For the Ravens, that'll be for David Kist. Big Ben, 14 out of 249. 
What was the story? Like, I actually didn't read what his comments were, but, it was, but like, you know, Steelers haters were the first to be like, oh, big crybaby, you know? Like, was he really being a crybaby about Mason Rudolph? Or, what, or were there just haters making him sound like a crybaby? I, I actually haven't read anything, so I need a neutral fan to speak up on that. Kyle Fuller, certified potential out of 399. Rookie auto for the Bears. That'll be for Dylan. Rashid Hagman, 45 out of 99. Wait, so did he straight up say, I'm not going to help that quarter, Mason Rudolph, develop? He's mad about them drafting QB over position. Forty-four. I, I got to look up the actual quotes. Like, did he say, "I'm not going to help that kid"? I mean, that's sour grapes, isn't it? Alex Smith, Kansas City edition, going to Dylan. Immortals, John Elway to nine ninety-nine. EJ Manuel, Stephen Jackson. And Stephen Jackson had a few years. He was just amazing. It's it's kind of crazy how. It's really not, but I mean, it still it still blows my mind though, how short the careers of running backs are. It's kind of scary. Um, 2014. Let's stay there because we got 2014 playbook football. 2014, right there. All right. So Joseph hasn't heard it, but he said that he the article he read said. Jokingly, that he said he'll point to the playbook if Mason has any questions. Was he joking, though? I don't know. Well, we'll see. You don't have the Chiefs, Andrew K. It doesn't really matter what I say, as long as this list is correct. Dylan has the Chiefs. The shipping team looked at that paperwork. I could say all the hits go to you, Andrew K. It wouldn't matter, though. <laughs> I would just be wrong. Uh, no, Dylan Card has the Chiefs. Sorry, I, did I read your name? Did I say your name? Uh, there's Sammy Watkins' Bills edition out of 99. That'll be for Alex Carmichael. And the book is A.J. McCarron. Nice patch, nice auto. Where did A.J. McCarron end up? 41 out of 49. People seem to really like the A.J. McCarron. Nice book, though, if he develops into something. Scott Cooper, Bengals. All right, now let's move to 2000. We got three boxes of 2015. Those are those, those three right there. Then we'll do 2017. Then we'll close with 2018. Let's start with. Why don't we start with tops? Get this out of my way. Right there. AJ McCarron with the Bills. He was sort of a quasi-hot commodity, wasn't he, in the offseason? So, like, somehow everyone got all hyped up about A.J. McCarron being, like, a, a, a guy. A guy that could, that could lead a team. That has backed up enough. Rick, <laughs> Rick Hunt still mad about the Bengals taking Chris Perry over Steven Jackson. And Mason Rudolph responded by saying, I'd probably say the same thing. I mean, listen, I feel like I feel like a wide receiver can say that. I feel like a, a you know, a corner, but like a team leader, I feel like shouldn't say that. Oh well. That's how that's that's how Big Ben wants to play it. Hey, he's the guy that that intimated that he wanted to retire last season. He was just like, maybe I just don't have it anymore. So and now he's salty, now he's sour about it. I don't know. Gold Rush not on the Jimmy G hype train, nor am I. I I'll take I'll take the under on that Niners win total. Oh yeah, are they still are they still together? Karen Webb and AJ McCarron? That's 
cute. That's nice. She was, she was pretty easy on the eyes. Or is this Catherine Webb? I don't remember. I just remember that there, I, I honestly don't, is she a brunette? I kind of don't remember what she looks like. I, I, I know that she's easy on the eyes, but I all I remember was, was it the national championship game or something like that? Where, where like the announcer, I forget what the announcer was, but it was definitely a, a, a guy like 35 years older than her, 40 years older than her, and was just like kind of being like leery old man. <laughs> Like on, on, on national television or something like that. All right. So now we're in the world of 2015. Oh, was it Brent Musburger? <laughs> it's even better. There's Kevin White, die cut. Matt Forte. So these gold ones aren't numbered. That's why I'm kind of breezing by these. That's that's nice. Jeremy Hill. 005 out of 205. Two-color patch and autograph. Now, another one for the Bengals. Coop. Slide these over here. Mike Davis Blue. Alshon. I always got to thank Alshon Jeffrey for helping me win a nice Super Bowl prop bet. First touchdown of the game, first touchdown for the Eagles. Both. So, Alshon Jeffrey, if you're watching, thank you for that. And we got Tony Lippett. Tony Lippett for the Dolphins. Dolphins autograph for Derek. Is Jeremy Hill on the Patriots? Not that I did not know. I don't, that doesn't even ring a bell. What are the Patriots doing with all those running backs? Did you guys hear the, the story about how uh, Tom Brady wants to... Tom Brady needs like 32 more yards or something like that to, uh, to have like a thousand yards in his career or something crazy. It'd be funny to see, I mean, Tom Brady running around. Denzel Perryman, although I feel like he's been more mobile in recent years. Must be that avocado ice cream. 90 out of 150, Denzel Perryman. For the Bolts, that'll go to David Kist with the Chiefs. There you go, that was Tops Platinum Football. We're going to stay in 2015, and we'll go with, how about some certified football? I think I, do I like certified football? I think I do. You know what? It's... It's prestige that I kind of, I think prestige has more packs, I think. I think that's the right, I don't like it. I think I like certified because it has like the design elements of prestige, but fewer packs. Yeah, it'd be nice to see Tops get into some football. I have no idea when that license is up and when, uh, when Tops would have a chance to rebid on that again. If they if they do, I'm sure they would want to. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost done. There is speaking. We were just talking about Kaepernick earlier. How I think. Gold Rush was mentioning that Kaepernick has the, or Jimmy Garoppolo has the same stats as Kaepernick. Although Jimmy Garoppolo is on a, I think that Niners team is, I don't know, a little different coaching and stuff. You don't know what's going on there, but I think Garoppolo is going to be good. I just don't think he's going to be instantly good. At a 999, uh, that's Steven Nelson for the 
Cardinals. Sorry, Chiefs. There's Mike. Ah, oh, see this fool? Why is it this way? I thought it was going to be an autograph. That's why I saved it. It's not. There's Marshawn Lynch and the Duke, Duke Johnson. 18 out of 99, new generation relic for the Browns. How does the bidding work? Does only one company get the... Well, no. The bidding works exactly like, you know, I, I think whenever a contract is up, they say the NFL uh, League and the NFL PA, those two different licenses, um, they say, hey, it's up for bid. And Top says, uh, how about this many millions of dollars? And then... You know, and then Panini says, how about this many millions of dollars? And I think they pretty much just take the highest bid. <laughs> so, I don't know the numbers, but I'm, I'm, Panini has actually bid enough for the exclusive on both the NFL and the NFL PA, which gives them the exclusive rights to produce all the football products. And I think they pr paid a pretty penny for that. So... He only got – they only got one. Now, tradition, like a lot of times, it ends up it, – it was split beforehand. There's Mike Davis. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, no, no. Be beforehand, nobody actually bid enough for – like to, to chase an exclusive contract. People were just like, no, no, no way we're doing that. So they, they would just take a bunch of money from Tops and a bunch of money from Panini. And depending on – what their bid amount was, they'd be like, all right, Panini, you're allotted to do 20 products this year of football, and Tops, you get 15 products this year. That's that, you know? So that goes to the Niners, by the way, Andrew King. But I think recently, maybe like three years ago or something like that, actually 2015 was three years ago, yeah, Panini just paid an extra load of money and had a pitch where they said, hey, we want, we want the exclusive. Here's how many millions we'll give you. Here's what we'll deliver on products every year. And that's that. There's Joe Montana. There's Trey Waynes for the Vikings. Now, I don't know what the – I'm sure someone could dig up. I'm sure it's on the internet somewhere. It's not public, I think, but maybe it was leaked somewhere or someone had an old news report that was buried somewhere. But um, It's Joe Montana. It's numbered. So I think that that's, that's what's going on. I, I don't know how long the term of the contract is. But that's in general. That's kind of how how it goes. Out of four ninety nine, Terrence West and new generation rally, Marcus Mariota, seven ninety nine for the Titans. Joseph with that one. You know, so when a, when a lot of people are like. You know, when they go like, oh, all this. Panini's overcharging for all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it, it, yes and no. I mean, it's it's the it's the licensing fee that they have to cover for. And I think it's a lot. You know, so in terms of and in terms of overproducing, that's almost not their choice either. There there is there is an agreement that says between the between the company and the Rel the sports leagues saying, hey, we're going to produce X amount of product. So it's already been set. <laughs> I guess printing is still up to them, though. Quantity. Uh, 62 out of 299, Steve Young, Jerry Rice booklet. This is 2015 Playbook Football. We've got Vic Beasley Jr., nice, to 199, 143 out of 199, Falcons, Brian. We've got draft edition, Melvin Gordon, 170 out of 199. Melvin Gordon for the Chargers, David Kist. Boom, there you go, Rams, JG. Come on, Rams, he was saying. Dual relic, Todd Gurley, rookie. Dual relic, Todd Gurley, 80 out of 199. JG on the board. With the book. All right, two boxes left. This is the most latest, 2018. So 2017. Contenders Optic, that hybrid product, which I thought was, 
which I thought was pretty nice. There's some good stuff right here. Good luck. Yeah, it's rookie girly. All right, we've got Matt Stafford, red. Out of one eye. Goldress is going to try, try it too. Come on, Saints. Oh, he wants lights, Camara action, of course. Who doesn't? Gronk, 87 out of 99. Is that his jersey number? Oh, he never hit the jersey number. Joe never has a second cup of coffee at home. 87 out of 99. Gronk for the Patriots. Nick Sanderson with that. A couple base cards. Jordy. Cam. And Cam, behind Cam, is two autographs. Wow. One is a red Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes for Dylan and the Chiefs. Woo. Not bad for like a, what, $27 mixer spot? 46 out of 75. Nice on-card auto. Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. That is strong. Out of a mixer? Gets one of those. Gets one of those. All right. And we got Josh Malone back here. Rookie ticket auto. Josh. Joshua Malone for Coop and the Panthers. Bruyo saying that that's not a five hundred dollar card, is it? It is? I, in my head I was like, this is like a two, three hundred dollar card. Wow. Even in the off season? Alright, well, there you go. Good luck. Last box. Six autographs to go, actually. So there could still be some nice things in here. Yeah, Gold Rusty, I think the Mahomes, I mean, still a nice price, but I think it went down a little bit. I think usually the offseason football prices generally do go down a tad. They'll, they'll build back up, but then a lot of it just becomes a little dependent on how he does, blah, 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 but... Should still, I mean, if you're intending to resell those, should still be nice. We got Taven Bryan. Taven Bryan. Well, I think we're splitting hairs at this point. It's, it's, it's nice. Let's get this going. Why is that top? Sleeves bent in the corner there. That's fine. It's just how it was how it came out of the factory. All right, there we go. I was having trouble putting it. There we go. Rich is saying Jaguars. Is that right? Rich has no reason to lie. He doesn't have a dog in this fight. It is Jaguars. All right, uh, Michael Gallucci with the Jacksonville Jaguars. We got Doris Fountain. Bowl ticket auto. Doris Fountain of Youth, 74 out of 99. Kind of like that name, Doris Fountain. Colts. Goes to Indianapolis, wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. Right, maybe a nice weapon for Andrew Luck's return, his glorious, glorious return. We got Jalen Samuels from Stanford. Gold Rush saying 330 was the last out of 75 Mahomies that sold. That's not too shabby at all. There you go, Degrush. There you go, buddy. <laughs> There's Jalen Samuels, Steelers. 
fullback for the Steelers. And we got Mike Kosicki. Tight end for the, I want to say Dolphins. I'll, I'll be in mid-season form in a couple months, folks. We do a few more of these football products. I'll remember where all these mofos go. Dolphins, got it. See? I'm getting closer. This is the preseason for me. So by the time all the nice stuff comes out, the break will be smooth. But now, still still football football preseason. I know, that, that one always fools me because I always think it's like, oh, Saquon Barkley? All right, two more autos to go. Good luck, everybody. This is the last break of the night. We got the Duke, Duke Dawson. Another Gator. Um, where, is the, where does the Duke go? Duke Dawson ended up with the Patriots, cornerback for the Patriots. New England. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, good luck. And after this will be the randomizer for the break credit. There's my boy Derek Carr. That'll go to the Raiders. Sorry about that. Out of 7 out of 49, just a few off his jersey number. Raiders. And that'll go to Calvin. And we've got defensive end Rashim Green, the green machine. Where's the green machine going? He ended up at, he's defensive end for the Seahawks. There we go. From C to shining C. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is your break. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Appreciate everybody giving this uh, this quick little mixer a shot. Not too shabby. $26.99, eight boxes, covering a lot of years and some new stuff as well. I dig it. Maybe we'll see some more like this in the near future. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time right there. There's where all the breaks are. Bye-bye.